We know not what we talk about on this channel. Tori and me have become Tori and I. Me and Tori. And since I joined Patreons, nope. <laughs> I just hit myself in the face. Uh, I like to rap, but I sing a lot. I let the eight oh eight bang in my Hello drum. friends, Try welcome back to another weekly vlog. You can hear the washer going. I'm sorry, my friends come to do some washing, so you'll just have to bear with the noise. So I'm gonna do a quick update while I've gone to the shops. Um reading for this week. Illborn, I started it over the weekend, got 460 pages in, I have that much left. Um, about 240 pages left, I want to finish this. I also want to pick up my arc this week that I said I wanted to read. I'm making more effort to get through my arcs as and when they come in. I need to read this, so I will be reading this. And then another plan for this week is, I don't know what else to read. I have 10 more books, well, nine books other than this to read. Um, so I put a poll on Twitter and at the moment, <laughs> at the moment with 33 votes, Priory of the Orange Tree and City of Fallen Angels are both tied um, with what to pick up next. The poll will be running for another 19 hours um, and then we'll see once that poll is complete as to um, which book is picked by the Twitter. Um, yeah, so there my plan for this week is to finish Illborn and read If You Change Your Mind. That is that on that. What I would also like to do, I still need to get to these other books, but it's whatever I'm going to pick up first. I do have a couple of the other books that I need to read on audio, so I also need to finish this Woven Kingdom. I'm about 60% through of that. I need to finish that. That was an extra book that I randomly picked up on Rose Recommendations because I wanted a fantasy, fantasy romance. I thought Jasmine Throne was a fantasy romance, but it clearly wasn't. So I DNF'd that at about 60%. Um, probably more than that, to be honest. And then, Rose, well, like, if you want a romance, if you want some fun, this Woven Kingdom, I picked that up on script. I don't have the physical copy yet. If I really enjoy it, I will pick up the physical copy when I get paid. One of the things I do need to read this week is a manga, so it's not going to take that much time up. So effectively I have about eight books, full novels to read. And then obviously the rest of Illborn. Ooh, there's a lot, there's a lot going on, but this was just a quick intro for once. But yeah, I'm gonna head off now and edit last week's vlog. Re-upload the haul that was supposed to be uploaded on Friday because it uploaded the same haul twice. Cause I'm in the auto, so I need to sort that out. And then I will be back with you when I have further reading updates. Hopefully I will have finished Ilborn um, and I'll be able to start this week's reading. <clears throat> Keep your fingers crossed, people. Bed dawning, friends. Hello. Um, welcome to Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Or is it Wednesday? We know not what we talk about on this channel. Yes, Tuesday the 19th of April. Um, well met to all of the new people. I've seen a new few comments from some new people that are watching my backlist, so I appreciate you all. Thank you, and welcome to Lisa Does Life. Barely, barely. We don't have a reading update. We're just going to put these on the head because the glare is annoying me. So we don't have a reading update as yet because we've just got home and I don't know why I'm saying we as in me, as in I, as in this person right here. I just got home from work. Let's forget that work exists for today. I'm so, so excited for today's sprints. Um, Becca's back on after a week of being ill. We have Tori on tonight. Tori and me have become, Tori and I, me and Tori have become good friends since I joined Ro's Patreon a few months ago. As soon as Ro opened a Patreon, I joined it, so whenever that was, that's when I joined, and that's when me and Tori started talking through there. We now message quite regularly, and I would say she's my friend. I would say we're friends. And yeah, so she's on tonight. So I, I am so excited, much wow. And we're just gonna have a good old time and not think about the 
a shizzle shot that is currently the work situation on it. And we're going to read. So, what I was going to do is f continue with Illborn, but I spoke of a Chelsea today and Chelsea, 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 not so secret workaholic who I am buddy reading this with. She is a couple hundred pages behind me because um, I, I did have all weekend to plough through this and I did assume that um, I was a little bit ahead of her. So I sent her a voice note with thoughts and what we do is um, <laughs> I'll put a text message saying thoughts up to blah blah page and then voice note the thoughts so no spoilers so she can open the message see that that's where the thoughts go up to and then as she as she read and then she does the same to me so i like that way of working i think i might try that in future for buddy reads because i i'm kind of glad we didn't stick to like a 50 page thing with this because I feel like you give me that restriction and I'll break it. Like, I'm like, boop, nope, not 50 pages. I'll read two, page, two um, hundred pages today. Do you know what I mean? So that one's going on hold for now while Chelsea catches up because I want to I want to hear her thoughts. Her thoughts and feelings and emotions around the whole thing. I just hit myself in the face. I nearly knocked myself out. I've got an out on my own sprints and... I know not myself out of the book. Let's put that down because I clearly do not know how to um, hold a book anymore. So we have lots going on this week still. So did I tell you yesterday? <laughs> um, priory, 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 priory is what won the poll for um. For, for what is it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yes, Priory won the poll that I put up on the Twitter. The Twitter. And a close second came City of Fallen Angels. So what I'm going to do, because I have put Ilborn to one side for un momento while Chelsea catches up. That leaves the time that I'd allocated to read that um, to something else that is on my TBR. So what I'm going to do is I am going to prioritise Priory of the Orange Tree because the Twitter spoke and with 38% of the votes, um, I'm not going to do a poll and ignore it, am I? Because who does that? So yes, Twitter has spoken. I will be doing Priory of the Orange Tree this week. I say I'll be doing Priory of the Orange Tree this week. I don't know where I've put the book. Do you know what? I've literally just been looking in my bedroom, on my book cart, in my ever so organised, on my organised coffee table where I dump, or should I say, um, strategically placed in a very unorganised manner, anything that I have that's just there. Um, I looked everywhere and then I realised that I wanted to take a picture of said book for Instagram because I'm trying to do semi-regular, slightly almost, partially scheduled Instagram posts and I was going to post that this was an, if this was an, an option that won the poll I was going to put that on my Instagram saying this won this week's poll I'm going to be reading this this week I put it on my bookshelf to take a picture and I forgot where it was so I've literally been scrambling around for five minutes trying to find the goddamn book and it's on my bookshelf that's just there that's just there in the hallway that you usually see when when see you can see it there look look you can see it look it's there there why I didn't see that you can't can't see for looking do you know what I mean do you do that I, I do that all the time so we have a number of options i'm not going to my family's this weekend i'm staying home so we have something again you can't see this it is in a dust jacket this is shadow of the gods by john Green. i have this on audiobook as well as physical i don't know why i'm talking like that i've got issues and one of them is not being able to speak english today so I have Shadow of the Gods. I have started a buddy read of this with Rosie. I was going to start this last week with Rosie, but Rosie was unwell. I didn't want to start it without her. So um, we're just going to see how we go with this. I'm hoping that we can finish this this week. It's not that big, 
but I do know Sophie only has Sophie, not Sophie, Rosie. I think she only ha can only read it physically, um, and obviously um, she's been struggling with being ill and headaches and stuff. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. So I will keep you updated on that, my love. I also have my arc of If You Change Your Mind, I'm the first in line, and I am so free. Take a chance on me. Um, this is by Robbie Weber, Robbie Weber, who is apparently a very um, influential Instagrammer with over 20,000 followers. Instagrammer turned author, and it's uh, queer, contemporary, romance, and that is all I need to know. I said yes. This was kindly given to me by Harper 3628 so thank you so much. I will be reading it this week. I will be reviewing this. I don't have a blog anymore. Um, I'm still debating whether or not I want to set a blog back up, but at the moment I will just be reviewing this on the Instagram. So look out for this review. So that is very short and now that I've got into physical reading with reading Ilborn, I feel like that will be a pretty quick read. So we have Shadow of the Gods. We have, if you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Doesn't say that in the title, but you know, it is what it is. I will also be, because Shadow of, not Shadow of, City of Fallen Angels also got 36%. So there wasn't that much of a difference between um, Prior of the Orange Tree and City of Fallen Angels. Because there wasn't that much difference between City of Fallen Angels and Prior of the Orange Tree. There's only 2% in the poll. I will be prioritising Priory, but I will be reading City of Fallen Angels as well. If possible, I will try and get the audio book for that as well, because I read better with audios. And I read the rest of the series on audio, so... It makes much sense to me to do that. And then... I can get I can get through the Shadow Hunter books quite quickly, and that is also probably one of, if not the smallest book apart from the first one. So again, it's going to be a quick read. And yes, I know we're on Wednesday, but bear with me. I have ten books to read. We're gonna we're gonna go through this together. Is this even on my TBR this month? Because if it's not, I'm giving myself an extra book for no goddamn reason, other than the fact it's a fantasy romance. And it can go towards um, Realmathon. Everything this month is is going towards Realmathon. As much as I can. Nope, it's not. It's not. It's not even on my TBR. But am I going to read it this month, this week? Probably. So I'm going to try and maybe get to this probably at the weekend. That might be a case of sitting down Friday night and doing. Oh, do you think I should? By the time this comes out, you'll already know the answer to this question. Do you think I should do, like, a 24-hour readathon where I try and read Fortuna Swan? Because how many hours is that on audio? I could get the audiobook as well. Because last time I checked, it wasn't on audiobook. But the audio hadn't come out yet. Every night I my bed. I thought the audiobook was already out, but I don't think it is. So this is going to be, this is a 31 hours and 55 minutes on one speed, which I never listen to the books on one speed. If I can get this book, I generally listen on two speed. So essentially, I could read this book in 24 hours. I could. I could. I could. I might do that if I can get the audiobook by the weekend. We shall see, we shall see. But failing that, we do have City of Fallen Angels that I will be reading. And I might as well wrap up a series. Might as well wrap up a series. Um, I'll try and get through Nightblood as well. And then that will leave me a few books for next week. But, you know. We do love an ambitious TBR, don't we, Duck? You know. Anyway, it's now quarter past six. I've been talking for far too long. I've still not had my footage and I'm on live in 45 minutes. So, I'm going to go and get some munch. I don't know why I did that. I'm going to make a biscuit tea, obviously. I am wholeheartedly blaming Katie for my biscuit tea addiction and I'm sure she doesn't actually care. I'm sure she's loving it because I'm loving it. 
just like McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and see what we see. And you all know I've given you these books as my potential TBR for this week. The likelihood is I will either veer off TBR or pick up the other books that I haven't listed that are still on my TBR. Now that I've put it out to the universe that these are the books I want to read, my brain's like, ooh, read something else. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, ignore that finger. When I, when I usually get acrylics, I get them because, um, to stop myself from biting my nails. Because when I get stressed, anxious, nervous, nail biting is a thing. But <laughs> due to immense stress from this week and last week, um, I've bitten off my acrylic. So, these are not helping me. <laughs> yeah, literally, I bit it off. So, if that doesn't tell you how stressed I've been, I don't know what does. I'm going to go now. I'm going to try and be more positive. I know that you like it. Well, not that you like it, but you prefer someone being honest and real and seeing ups and downs of people rather than just being fake, pretending to be happy all the time. But... <laughs> I also know that you don't want to see a depressed down person consistently when you watch your vlog. It's just not what you want, is it? When you watch your video. So, things are going to perk up. I don't know. I'll try. But I'm hoping tonight will give me the serotonin boost I need. Hello, friends. Friends, friends, friends. I am... Um, Coming at you from what day are we on? I don't know what day we're on. We're on Thursday, Thursday, and I'm on break. Um, during my admin-y, admin -y section today, during my admin time today, I have finished City of Fallen Angels. I've rated it four stars. This book, I can understand why this book is smaller than the rest. I can, and I can also see that it was a case of like two trilogies because it's very much is another setup book for um books five and six yeah i could definitely see that this was another setup book this is the first book in the shadow hunters that i've rated four stars i just think that i don't know like we did get to see more of the characters and stuff i just didn't get that like action packed like five star feel from from this book which is a shame but it's still a really good book and like I said it does really give you an introduction into what's coming and as always as you would expect it ended on a massive cliffhanger and I just want to pick up City of Heavenly Fire question mark <laughs> if that's if that's what's coming next and then I think we are moving on to Infernal Devices, question mark, I think. And then coming back to book six after. So, yay. Yay for that. I am now, how many chapters? 33 chapters into this Woven Kingdom. I'm really enjoying this. Thank you so much, Ro, for the recommendation top tier this is YA or it's coming I'm sure it is YA I think I just like the there's just enough angst in this for me there's also there's like there's like longing like feelings but then like denying their feelings it's so yeah I really 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 enjoyed it this is the romance I was wanting from Jasmine Throne take note pitch something as a romance, have some romance in it. You know, don't, don't, don't doesn't doesn't take much to put romance in a book that you bitch as a romance. Um, other books that I need to read, have I read any of them? No, I was supposed to start Sh Shadow of the Gods, but I read It Happened One Summer instead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was raw. There was Chloe, there was Tori and Becca. Just literally like five stars, five stars, five stars all around for this for this book. And I was getting FOMO because 
I just felt like I needed to read it. So I've also started and finished on audio. It happened one summer. And I was so tempted to dive straight into hook, line and sinker because I do have that on BookBeat as well. But, you know, I need to stick to what I've, what I've agreed within my own brain for the rest of the week. Shadow of the Gods is gonna get started today and I'm hoping to finish this Woven Kingdom today as well. And then what I might do is I'm still considering doing a vlog purely of reading um, Beautiful Nightmares. Sweet dream of a beautiful nightmare you are. I wanna wake up with you. Yes, I'm singing far too much in these vlogs, but I don't care. I am so excited to get to this. This just such an anticipated book for me. Like, I really wanted to pick it up when it first came out, but I hadn't caught up with the rest of the series. And then when I did, I didn't. I wanted the physical book because I have the physical of the rest of them, and I want to do the do the mixed media thing. And then now that I finally got it, um, I got the audio of Audible because this particular book is not on BookBeat like the rest of them are, which is a shame, but I was willing to pay for this. So, so I'm going to get to this at the weekend. I'm going to head off and get something to eat. I'm going to get some biscuit tea. And I'm just trying to think, what else did I say I wanted to read? Oh, if you change your mind, <laughs> I do that a lot. I need to read the arc this week and get that review up on the Instagrams. So I will be doing that this week as well. So, thems is the plans for the rest of the week, lovies. I don't think I'm going to get any other book in this week. I really don't don't i do also in between that need to refilm the announcement i need to film because i watched it back i look so uncomfortable it looks like that is my very first youtube video that i'm ever filming because i was so uncomfortable doing that announcement and i also missed out lots of information <laughs> because i'm an idiot and didn't take notes so i need to refilm that I need to edit tonight as well because I've got a vlog, oh, fingers crossed, hopefully, going up on the morrow. And I also still need to film my March Books on a Beat wrap up because the books are waiting to be wrapped up and, you know, put back on the shelves. But I still haven't done that yet. So that also needs to get done this weekend. So I have a lot and not much time to do it because I'm working tomorrow so I look to have Saturday Sunday to do everything I want to do and then on Sunday I do also need to edit the vlog for Monday to see the problem. I have given myself too much to do and too little time but you know it is what it is. If my vlogs are not chaos and just a mess then it's not a Lisa vlog is it? Let's face it. If I don't ramble and just not know what the hell I'm doing for the full week, it's not a Lisa vlog. So I'm going to head off now, get something to eat. And I will figure out something soon. I don't know. Peace. Hi, it's me again. Same place. Different time. We don't talk about it. I don't move from this position when I read because, um, and when I film, it is what it is. Well, it's just not discussed. So, you can't see the cover, but just pretend this is Shadow of the Gods by John Green and not Fever and Reese in whatever entanglement they're in. I am on page 374 and by the gods. <laughs> if this guy does not know how to do a high fantasy, war ridden, war filled book. I don't know who does. His writing style is just, it captivates me and it might feel to some like 
it's really boring because there are bits and bits of action in this book but it's very heavily Norse mythology, like Norse things, <laughs> can't speak, Norse, what's it called? Mythology, is, is that what it is? It, it's in here, like Norse words. I needed a glossary, a dictionary, a Norse dictionary to work out what a couple of these things are and I've started to write down what these different words are because I feel like even though I wanted to go on to Hunger of Gods straight after, I will be reading books in between this and Hunger of the Gods so there are going to be some things that I might tend to forget so I've written down these different words. Some of them are Norse words and there's like Fenrir which is like a wolf type creature which is taken from Norse mythology and there are some things like uh, Sax which is Norse that is an actual thing that is out there but then these are thing, things called Tenya or Tenno and I'm so glad I got the audiobook for this. I would recommend getting the audiobook for this because the way things are written and not the way things are said, especially the Norse words. It has like a D with a line on it and it's pronounced the earth instead of a D or a F. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying it like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Can you tell that I'm really excited about this book because I just keep rambling? I am absolutely good that I did not get malice from the broken binding i really 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 should have just put up and shut up and forked out the money for it because it just gets me there is the romance in this if in these kinds of books if it ever does come up in john green book john green books is very fair to black it's not the kind of smutty adult fantasy that we are you still reading we you me whatever yeah so it's not like fantasy romance adult romance but it's it's a different type of adult fantasy it's very much about war and prophecy and gods and obviously it's the shadow of the gods at least what you're talking about i have to be in a certain mindset to read these books though because at the moment i'm very much on a high fantasy hype but I need to remind myself not to get too bogged down in that kind of book and read too many of them consecutively. Otherwise, I will go into a slump, which is why I've still not read Wrath yet. Because I was like, high fantasy, high fantasy, high fantasy, and just reading one after the other after the other. And then I just got into a bit of a slump where I was just like, no more high fantasy, I just want some smut. So I feel, I, I do say I feel a lot, don't I? I think I need to start mixing up my reading a bit more. But do you know when you just get a feeling that you just want to keep picking up different books? When sometimes I just have the urge to just pick up a, a multiple high fantasies. And no matter what I try and read, I just can't pull myself away from what I want to read. Do you know what I mean? I don't find myself... For, interested in things that I normally would be interested in if I'm really focused on wanting to read a particular book. Like I knew that I was buddy reading. <laughs> buddy reading. Should we talk about the buddy read I'm supposed to be doing with, with Rosa? So we start this on Tuesday. It's supposed to be 50 pages a day and I'm now on page 374. Make that make sense. It doesn't. Let's not. So <laughs> I was behind because I was reading it happened one summer and that was not on my TBR and then I was finishing this Woven Kingdom which you guessed it was not on my TBR <laughs> and then continued a couple of chapters of Illborn which again was not on my official TBR but I did agree to buddy read it with Charles so it kind of was on my TBR essentially maybe possibly kind of and I still have a plethora. I will use that word as much as possible because it makes me sound more intelligent and you'll notice that I've used it a lot recently. A plethora, a number, a large volume of books still ready to read and today's the 23rd so next Saturday is the 30th and I have a number of books to read within this time. 
and I work five days a week so I only have the evenings I am on Becca's sprints on the morrow um, and I swear to god I am moon touched because I am really cutting it fine this month and I still haven't even put together my May TBR let alone filmed my May TBR so that's something I need to do in between all this 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 week as well so I think what I need to do is um whilst I listen the thing, when I'm listening to this because I'm so engrossed in it I need to and I need to focus on it. it's a kind of book that you need to focus on it's multi perspective it's obviously there's quite complicated words being used well complicated to me because I'm not used to Norse mythology wording and th there's some kind of chance at some points that it's like full sentences that are it's just it's just a complex thing storyline and this i will say though that this is very much a case of it is a first book in a series we are getting to know bits about each of the characters which again i love john green does his great thing of being able to give you plot give you good plot give you good battle scenes as well as giving you little hints into the person's background and it doesn't give it you all at once he kind of like drip feeds you all this information but keeps you gripped enough that if you are a character driven person you're invested and if you are a plot driven person you're invested because it gives you equal amounts of both to just keep you in interested and focused and I feel I when I'm reading this kind of book as much as I say I'm gonna do other things alongside it I find myself just sitting and listening and reading the only time I can really do other things alongside it if I'm reading like a YA fantasy that's quite light that's not too complex in plot and characters and or if I'm reading a contemporary which I don't have any more contemporaries on my TBR for this month. The rest of the books I want to read are High Fantasy. Actually no, I do have Blood Promise but I don't have that on audio. Mm. And then Illborn is a physical read so I can't really do that. Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter is an audio but it's a reread so I think that I could do my sorting out my TBR whilst I read that but I that is definitely going to be next week because I still haven't picked up Priory yet and I still haven't picked up but if you change your mind if you change your mind I'm the first in line and I am still free to dance on me I need to go back and look at my TBR. I think I did put most of my books on my official TBR. Although some were I would like to get to possibly maybe. So the ones that I said I would possibly maybe might like to get to if I can. I'm going to put them to one side for now and get through my 100% need to get through. So I need to get through Darling Dark because that was the kindle book for this month and i have been failing epically with my kindle books i have pulled a number of kindle books and i think i've maybe read one over the last four months so this needs to this needs to get read and then i need to read priory because that was the book that becca picked for my 12 books 12 prompts challenge i've already read city of fallen angels which was the book that i picked for a becca wreck because it killed but two birds, one stone, is a Becca Rec and her book club pick, her uh, read along pick. So that's all done and dusted. So the books that were all, like solidly on my TBR, Darling Dark, Priory of the Orange Tree, Blood Promise, they, they are three books I 100% need to get finished. And to be honest, I don't even think Shadow of the Gods was a must, but it's a buddy read, so I can't not read it. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a mess. Wrath was one I really wanted to get to and Nightblood 
I think I put that down as one I wanted to get to. I just can't remember what, what I did for Crown of Gilded Bones because that's a 600 page book but what I can do is I could take that to my parents house next week. The good thing is my Kindle book is only 168 pages. If you change your mind once I get into it, it's a really short contemporary. I can smash through that. It's just balancing my time. And I say this every month, but I genuinely think that next month I need to keep my TBR small. I am doing Witchathon that's run by Sam from Yarn Reader. I will leave a link down below. I am also doing Roll Readathon, the May round, which is a couples round. And I'm going to try my best to not overwork myself. Um, in regards to like reading because I have video pl video ideas in my head and I need, I'm, at the moment I'm not giving myself the time that I want to film like I'm really behind on my books and be from last last month I haven't done a wrap up for last month yet and I don't want to start missing wrap ups because then I'll just get into a habit of missing them if you know what I mean so I do have a couple of books for buddy reads for next month which I am really excited about and I have my group book club, pick, book club pick that Dan is going to be picking. I think I'm going to try my best to keep my focused, like, TBR less than 10, 10 or less. I just need to print off all the Witchathon prompts and um, I need to print off the Royal Readathon prompts and sit down and just work them out but I think I'll do that at some point maybe Monday if I could just sit and get through the strange case of the alchemist dog because that's the um friend group pick for this month which was picked by Rebecca it is a very very quick read so that should be fine but for this week I'm rambling this week I have that much left of shadow of the gods so I will finish that tonight, we are only on quarter past ten. I'm then going to try and dive back into Priory. <sighs> Wish me luck. I don't know what's going on in my um, messed up thought cage, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> I'm now down to about 5,600 pages I need to read this week is normally what I read in a month. Yay! Everybody say yay. What the fuck? Guys, gals, non-binary gender fluid friends. This. This masterpiece. This absolute brilliant piece of work has been completed, done, Tis off the TBR onto my shelves where it forever shall stay. I will reread this at some point. This is just, like I said before, it definitely is a set in the scene book. But, especially near the end, the revelations, the betrayal. You think you know people and it's like, boop, no you don't. It's, it's. You, you get to know characters and then it's like, ooh, ow, that hurt John. Why? Why you do that for? But it's also why I love him as an author and why I also am enjoying Ryan Kyle's work. It's because as much as you hate bad things happening to your main characters and potentially people that you grow to feel things for potentially at unalived it's it's just the fact that they have the audacity and the balls to do that and to take you on that roller coaster ride of a do you know what I mean it's it's just it's just he is an autobiography for me and I say this about quite a few authors but John Gwynn now is just give me someone that can beat him please 
I mean, Ryan Cahill's kind of, kind of there, almost on a par. I just want to also say the or uh, the the narrator, the narrator for this one. Let me find out his name, because props to the narrator, Colin Mace. Colin Mace is just a brilliant narrator. Like. I'm just trying to find that word there. That word there is it's not a D. It's a it's a, it's a weird pronunciation. And yes, I found that this this is one of the gods and it's dragon called Lycrefa. He also just knows how to build tension he knows when to just let you breathe as a reader and just the breathing space that you get is the parts of the book where he gets you get to know the different characters and this follows three main perspectives you've got orca elva and varg they are currently separate and the these are basically the catalysts of what's to come in this series and it's not a spoiler it says it in the blurb i find it hard to say so anything about things that i really really like so this is what i'm going to move on to now and yes it's 1 25 am i'm still wide awake so i'm going to read this and then this is a chunk that i'm going to try and dive into for the rest of sunday i'm going to try and get through the rest of today without sleep is this a good idea no but it is what it is and um, we'll just see where we go. We'll see how how we fare. <sighs> but I'm gonna go now because my battery's dying. And I also need to edit you. I'll start to edit you at some point today. So that's gonna be fun. I will see you on the morrow. Or shall I say later today? Peace out, friends. Hey, so I'm coming in now to just wrap up this vlog. Um I was on Becca's Sprints, it's Sunday by the way. Did I say this already? I don't know. I've come to wrap up the vlog because I was on Becca's Sprints and I started feeling well and I ended up being sick. I had a bit of a weird stomach cough for a few days but I thought it was just, you know, it'd be fine but it wasn't. So I've come off Becca's Sprints and I'm just going to sit on a sofa and just catch a couple of hours. Just recharge um i'm gonna wrap up this vlog and we're gonna do a lowdown of what i've actually read this week and what i've yet to read i feel like i've read a lot but also not a lot so we'll go through we'll go through so i'm um, i did go up to chapter seven of prior of the orange tree and at the moment is literally just the introduction phases of getting to know the characters um, I do know the divide between East and West. I don't know if I am going to retain all the names of these characters or if I'm expected to. But so far it is very intriguing. Again, you probably already know what this is about, what's battle wars, there's dragons involved. Didn't done what um Catherine said to do is split it into books. Books sections because it's like four stories in one book. So I've split it up um, and if I feel a bit later I'm going to pick this up again, if not I won't. I did start and finish City of Angels, I finished this Woven Kingdom. Um, I started and finished, it happened one summer. I've also read Shadow of the Gods, so I have done, I have, I have done alright, I have done alright. And I've also started If You Change Your Mind and this is an arc that I was sent a review copy. This isn't out until May, this is out on May 3rd. Um, this is a YA contemporary and after reading something like Shadow of the Gods, coming back to this, it feels very juvenile right now and I'm not sure if I'm liking it. But it's very quick read, I read 76 pages so quick yeah I'm, I'll try, I might try and get through this just so I can get it reviewed and 
and I'll put the review up on my Instagram. I might start liking it further down the line, but at the moment, I'm just not feeling this. I think if I am to go for contemporary, with a few exceptions, then um, adult contemporary is probably more my style. Literally, the first couple of pages, I don't know how many times I have to say it about hot men in the first couple of pages. It seems very superficial to me, but we'll see. Things may change. Um, but there's that. I'm going to head off now and just chill for a bit. Hopefully feel better later or tomorrow and I will be starting a brand new vlog on the morrow. Because I felt so crappy, I haven't been able to film my things I wanted to film this afternoon. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. Trying to squeeze the filming in that I wanted to do today. But I will work around it. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good and it's all good and fine and funky fresh. One thing I did also do is plan out my May TBR. I now have books for most of the um, Royal Readers on prompts and some of the and all of the Witcher Thumb prompts that I want to do and I have been able to get books for both prompts. The one I'm missing at the moment is Forbidden Slash Secret Love but I'm going to watch Becca's recommendation video um, for where, what books I can pick for that and see what I've got but there we go. Thank you very much for joining me, thank you again for I've seen a couple of new people join this week and once again, I really appreciate all your support. So, yes, like, comment, subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content from me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.